Hey everybody, Sean Zinsmeister here from ThoughtSpot and welcome to episode three of ThoughtSpot plus Google Cloud, the road to Google Next. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the connected workspace, but how you bring BigQuery and the power of live data to all your workspace apps. In this case, we're gonna talk through Google Sheets and Google Slides. So let's start, we have two applications for Google Sheets. Let's start with ThoughtSpot Connected Sheets. Here, the problem statement is, I wanna bring trusted data or governed data into Google Sheets where I am most comfortable working with uh, to answer questions, review data. So in this case, we're gonna use a marketing data set uh, to do just that, evaluate some campaigns and show you how easy it is. All right, so I've already set up a BigQuery connection uh, through ThoughtSpot. And so now my user can go here to extensions Go to Connected Sheets, and what you're going to see is the side panel opens, and it's going to bring up, actually, the query editor. So it's first going to say, I want to choose a data model that I can actually then go fetch data from. So it's going to query BigQuery through a semantic model. Let's just look at this for our email marketing, because we want to evaluate some of our campaigns. All right, so this now brings up the query editor, and now you see how flexible uh, this is really for the user. So now I'm just going to start by selecting uh, some measures and attributes. So we're going to grab clicks, campaigns, conversions, make sure we get all the usual suspects, what we want to be able to look at. And say we'll bring region into this. And I can even go up here and say, I, you know, I just want a weekly view uh, of the data. Okay, so with that in mind, what it's going to do is because the connection is already set up, the big query is going to go get the data. It's going to fetch the data and pull it through the semantic model. So now I'm going to get a nice shape of data in columns and rows, as you just see appear on the screen. And now I can really begin my analysis. So let's go over here. I'm just using a chart that's native to Google Sheets, just so we have a visual so you can see how flexible our query editor here is. I can really use natural language query uh, to modify it. I'll show you how we do it. All right, so we're going to first select an X axis. Let's look at this broken down uh, by our various campaigns. And maybe we want to see this. I uh, want to see clicks. Maybe we want to see conversions uh, and clicks. How about we look at both? All right. So maybe there's too many campaigns that we have here. Let's go here and instead look at just gender. Okay. So that's a simple visualization. There you go. Now, let's now exit out of this and return to our query editor. What if you want to keep going with this? So what we could do is like, say we want to just look at data for California. And instead of weekly, we want daily, but we just want to look at last week. All right, so now I'm really using uh, ThoughtSpot's search engine to modify this and I'm going to get the data and you see how quickly and flexible, the, how, how flexible it is for me to go get this. And there you go. All right, so it aggregated all the data on the fly and you saw the visualization change just like that. So I can keep going, I can modify. The access to the ThoughtSpot semantic models uh, really make sure that I have trusted governed data um, so things aren't getting lost in spreadsheets, which is a big worry of a lot of modern data teams. So uh, not only can you use uh, ThoughtSpot connected sheets just with any native visualization in Google Sheets, uh, you can also use our plugin as well. So we have a free ThoughtSpot analytics for Sheets plugin that you might have seen before. Um, I can go ahead and just launch this with a click. And what it's going to do is it's going to read all of the data that's local to the sheet. So I have these nice columns and rows that I pulled from BigQuery uh, through a semantic model. And there you go. So with just that, it now allows me to do very easy exploration. I can refresh the auto insights. Um, I can drill anywhere in the data. So if I want to go down here, and look at this, say, by campaign. You know, now I have what we call a lightweight version of ThoughtSpot uh, that runs natively in the browser. It's really powerful. It can also do a lot of things. Let's go to uh, just looking at our ThoughtSpot Analytics for Sheets plugin now. So not only can I look at data that's local in your Google Sheet, I can also create a connected workflow if I through BigQuery as well and just use the plugin. Um, they just want to be able to satisfy the many styles of BI, the many different workflows uh, that different types of users uh, might actually want to use. And so these are just options for you to build your own flow, let it flow. 
All right, so here you can see I've already set up a connected sheet through BigQuery, and then I'm just gonna select the Analytics plugin. And you'll see that depending on the size of the data, it's going to go ahead and maybe take a few seconds or so just to go ahead and look at this, and then I'll be able to query this through the plugin. This is great for data profiling, um, getting a quick look at your data, um, and just understanding just quick insights just really helps speed up a lot of the workflows to use these different tools in tandem. So it took a few seconds to load, but once it's there in the plugin, I'm really free to explore my data. Um, so I can continue to just with one click auto refresh the data uh, as I see fit. So I'm kind of liking these conversions by state. Let's go ahead and look at that. And of course, I can then continue to drill down by campaign name, Only one campaign there. Let's go back. So really easy for me to navigate uh, within my query. What else can I drill down by here? How about by site? All right, that gives us the different marketing channels and websites that we're looking at. Uh, and of course, we've also integrated Google AI using the Palm L2 LLM uh, with AI Explain. We call this the Google Translate for Analytics. It just takes your chart and then it'd be able to automatically create data stories as you see here on the right uh, using generative AI from Google. Um, so this is a full tour of our, uh, this is a native plugin. It's totally free in the workspace. You don't need a ThoughtSpot login. Uh, connected sheets, however, uh, you will need to connect uh, this to your ThoughtSpot account. So you need to go get yourself a free trial or uh, ask your administrator to make you a login and you'll have access to this. Okay, so that's connected sheets, app number one. And app number two is ThoughtSpot Analytics for Sheets. All right, now, once you've got all those charts that you've been able to create, uh, what is the number one storytelling mechanism in the world? It's a slide deck. Google Slides is tremendous for being able to build these stories very quickly. Uh, here you can see, let's just take a look through uh, a quick example that we built. So what you're seeing here is the ability to then uh, insert live charts and visualizations into your Google Slides, uh, and it's feeding data directly from BigQuery. So for example, if I hover over any of these. So let's look at, let's scroll ahead and you can see it's awesome that we can use the Google Slides creation tools in tandem with these rich visualizations. Uh, let me show you how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and just make a new slide here. Say we wanna add another metric. This again is gonna be available in the Google Workspace. And I'm gonna look at, it's thoughts about connected slides. I'm gonna go ahead and launch. And you're gonna see that this launches our dedicated Google Slides app. So a uh, couple of options here. So simple refresh buttons. So all of this data in your Google Slides is live. It's being fed from BigQuery. So I can update all of them. Or if I hovered over you know, a particular slide, this would update this visualization uh, with the latest data. But in this case, I wanna go ahead and actually create a new slide for my presentation. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just browse. Again, it brings up all of the semantic models that I have available. We were looking at email performance. Let's stick with that. Uh, analysis for right now. And now I'm gonna see all of the content that's already been created in ThoughtSpot that's now available for me to build out my interactive presentation. So I like this one, this is conversions by campaign. Just do a click to insert into slide and it's gonna go ahead and create the live chart directly in Google Slides. There you go. And so now I can edit, I can crop, get this exactly where I want. I can give this a title or I can just keep the one that I have. And what's really nice here is notice how this is all linked back to ThoughtSpot. So if I wanna go back uh, to any chart, I just go ahead and click that link. That's gonna take me directly to where this is. And now I can use uh, ThoughtSpot live on BigQuery uh, to go ahead and explore and drill deeper uh, and modify uh, and continue uh, my workflow. So there you go. So it opens up exactly where uh, this is. Really easy for me to navigate. So if I'm moving from slides, I wanna dig deeper, uh, it'll help the user just link directly uh, to where they need to go. So that is a quick example of the connected workspace for what ThoughtSpot is offering for Google Sheets. Again, with ThoughtSpot Connected Sheets, our native ThoughtSpot Analytics for Sheets free plugin, as well as ThoughtSpot connected slides for Google Slides. 
Uh, so this would be able to really bring data to where work gets done, which is in Google Workspace. So hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you think.